What's up YouTube? Figured I would film today's training session. Uh, we're doing bench press, superset, well that's actually a tricep, right? So bench press, then pendulum rows, then incline dumbbell flies. We're gonna go four sets of 15 across the board. It's gonna be pretty fun. Bench press is gonna be pause press. Pendulum rows is gonna be strict form, so pausing at the bottom of each rep. And uh, from that, we're gonna move over and do into some bicep work. So biceps, forearms, triceps actually. So full arm workout. Today's session is pretty quick. I completed it for the first time last week and things went pretty well. So gonna go ahead and smash that right now and uh, get some video to you guys. All right, here we are starting with bench press. I uh, don't particularly do the whole 15 reps on the first set being a warm-up set um, just trying to you know essentially warm up feel the movement focus on the technique um, so like right here I'll do 15 reps on the pause press but then I don't think I do the whole 15 on the pen lay rows or the uh, flies just like to get warmed up you know some people like to warm up with mobility work some people like to warm up on a stair master I like to just do some lighter load with the same exercise that I'm going to be doing anyways so penlay rows are pretty demanding. Um, I would say they're a bit more explosive and demanding than a bent over row. And I love it because you pause at the bottom. So you really focus on staying tight, breathing, especially when it gets heavier. But the, the higher reps definitely hurt me. So today we just filmed just the warm up, just the first round of each, each tri set, just so you guys can have a, have a look at what we're doing. Um, so to be honest, the the, the warm-up set being this one it's actually the most challenging just because it's the first thing that I've done uh, that this whole day so going from one exercise to the next to the next is a great way to uh, to really warm up get your body warmed up but also feel uh, a bit pre-fatigued but also mentally focused towards the, the training session ahead <coughs> This is where my heart rate's going fast. So this is the second tricep that we perform, as I mentioned in my intro, was is basically a close grip pull up, or should I, I should say a close grip chin up, and the focus is on a slower eccentric. So we'll do between four, three to six seconds on the eccentric and we're just looking for four to six reps. Again, we're really focusing on biceps more than anything, but it's nice to get a bit of back work in there as well. And then from here, we'll go over to an incline dumbbell curl. Now these incline dumbbell curls are a bit different because we're actually doing a quarter rep in between each rep. So we'll do that full rep and then we'll just do a little quarter. Full rep, little quarter. and. Uh, I would assume that the idea behind this is just to get more blood into the muscle, a bit more fatigue, a bit more time under tension, and uh, just, you know, it's an, in, an intensity technique to make things a bit more exciting, a bit more challenging, given that I've been training for 12 years. Training can get pretty repetitive, so I think my coach find, looks for ways to make it a bit more fun, exciting, challenging, and different. And uh, it definitely is challenging. So straight from there, we go over to some hammer curls. These ones, I, to be honest, I don't. I very rarely train arms. I've mentioned that before in previous videos. So, so doing arms is like a killer for me, but it's exciting. Pump is good. Uh, this is supposed to be 15 reps, and I went from I went five reps standing down to uh, five reps or maybe 10 reps sitting down, just to mix things up a bit and get a little bit of rest in between. From that movement, straight over to incline skull crusher. Now my working sets, I actually moved myself up higher on this bench. So my head was pretty much off the bench. I found that the dumbbells were, were hitting the bench on this warm up set. Should also note that the chin ups, the close grip chin ups are four to six reps. Hammer curls are actually meant to be 20 reps. And um, the incline curls are just like 10. Just got done training chest, back, biceps and triceps now we're off to find some food and hit 
hit the beach. What's up, bro? Say hi to YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Want to close the door properly? There we go. Where are we going? To the beach, sir. Gotta eat first, man. Gotta get those post workout gains in first. Did you have a protein shake? Not with me. Zach, what are your thoughts on protein powder? Taste is number one. Taste is always number one. Everything else second. Sugar content probably should be second. Let's test this guy. How important is a post workout protein shake? How soon should you have it? Do you want the bro answer or do you want no, the... I want your thoughts, your personal thoughts. Uh, personally, I like to have mine within half an hour of training. Yeah, when, sure. I, when I have one with me. Why is that? Uh, I feel like I need to replenish my body yeah, after my workout. Replenish what? Replenish glycogen or...? Yeah. Is it glycogen? Is that what you're trying to replenish? I have no idea, sir. Okay. I like I like lifting heavy things. So within within 30 minutes, and what will happen if you don't have it within 30 minutes? Probably get small and cry. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. And um, what about pre-workout? Pre-workout is also important. Pre-workout what? Pre-workout protein? No. Pre-workout. Pre-workout. Caffeine. Caffeine along with betalanine and all the other fun stuff. Yeah. So if you want to be in a fat loss phase, what's the most important thing to do? Not eat. Not eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you want to be eat. in a fat loss phase, not a not a not a not a weight loss phase, what do you need to do? If you want to be in a fat loss phase, you want to be anabolic. You want to be anabolic. Okay. I have no idea. And how do you be anabolic? I'm going through a yellow light. Maintaining uh, maintaining adequate protein intake for energy expended. Okay, let's just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Don't confuse yourself. I'm already confused. <laughs> I woke up confused. Okay, so after that after that workout I'm confused. <laughs> Consume adequate protein, right? That's correct. Yeah. You need a new one of them. I do. We're, we're, we're dropping I do. a lot. I do, it's coming off. Have adequate protein. Alright, this interview is over. So we've got our post workout gains right here <laughs> in your 30 minute window. What are the macros, man? Awesome. Yeah, the macros are awesome. Is that a fact? A How many calories is awesome? Heaps. Got my paella right here. Grilled fish. Pet dieting life. Make some gains.